Hey guys, this is Samsung Galaxy S GTI 9000 smartphone and in this video we'll be talking about on how you can install the latest custom ROM firmware which is based on the 4.1.2 Jelly Bean build. So before going through all the instructions and all, first up you need to ensure that your device is the rooted one and also the custom recovery image should have been flashed in your Galaxy S. Without doing this, it's impossible to install this firmware. So to check whether your device is rooted or not, Head over to the Google Play Store and download an application named as Root Checker. So once you have downloaded Root Checker, just open the same. So first up we need to ensure that the device is rooted. For which just open the application and tap on verify root access. If, if you are getting any such prompts, just tap on allow. So you can see that, congratulations, the device has root access. So the device is rooted. Now up next, download the custom ROM firmware zip package, which, which is there in the below link. Head out to the article, in the procedure section, you will be able to find out the zip package. Download it in your computer and place the same in your device. Ensure that you are not placing the file deep into your alternate folders or the subfolders or else you will find it difficult in finding the same in the recovery mode. So once you have placed the zip package just disconnect this phone from the computer and download the application named as ROM manager. So once the ROM manager application is being opened you will see various options which are listed over here. So first up you need to ensure that the flash clocker mode recovery option is selected so as to ensure that the device is installed with the current recovery. As you can see that the current recovery is clockwork mod 2.5.1.2 which is fair enough version for updating this custom room firmware. So once it is done, you just need to select the option of reboot into recovery mode. Once you select the option, you will be getting a prompt that is are you sure you want to reboot into clockwork mode recovery? Yes, you are sure about it. So tap on OK. So you can see that the super user request has prompted something. Just tap on allow. You need to wait for a bit till the device is rooted. Once it's booted, you'll see the recovery screen. Just wait for a minute or two because it will take some time for booting the device in the recovery mode. So as you can see that there's a recovery mode. In recovery mode you have to select the option of wipe data and factory reset. With the help of volume keys and the power button you have to select the option of wipe data or factory reset. Just press the power button, it will wipe all the data. Once it's done, you need to set the option of wipe cache partition as well. So as you can see that it too has been done. Head over to advanced option, wipe tablet cache also by selecting the corresponding option. Once it's done, wipe battery stats also. So to ensure that all our battery related stats are erased. So once it's done, just need to select the option of go back and then install zip from SD card and then choose zip from SD card. Then you need to select the option of code name android 4.1.2 pre-release.zip. So as you can see that, head out to that option and press the power button. After which you need to again select the option of yes install the same. So as you can see that the update is being installed. So as you can see that the devil there is a devil kernel. 
again you have to select the option to install zip from sd card choose zip from sd card and then the same option of code name android folder window to be released it will take a minute or two for applying this update or sometimes it may take more than a minute or two as well to ensure that your device is left with a minimum of 30 to 40 percent of battery life because uh, for updating this firmware it will take quite a good amount of time and also the battery resources will be consumed much more than the normal one so as you can see that there is a progress bar over here which will indicate that how much percentage of battery sorry not battery how much percentage of custom ROM recovery installation is being finished ensure that you are not pressing the power button or the volume keys because it may interrupt the process of firmware update as you can see that it's still installing the update the whole process should take around 10 to 15 minutes of time ensure that only if and if you are having almost 15 minutes of time then you will need to flash this update So as you can see that the install from SD card has been completed. Now all you need to do is install the Google applications as well. And to do that, select the option of choose zip from SD card and then G apps GB will be written over there 2012 101 sign.zip. Select the same. And with the help of volume keys and the power button, you need to select it. As you can see that the mounting system, copying files. With the help of progress bar, you will be able to know on how much percentage of installation is done. Again in this, it will take a minute or two. fixing permissions and then there you go it's unmounting the system and install from SD card has been completed now simple all you need to do is the option go back go back and then reboot system now It's based on the devil kernel, that's the reason it's showing it as devil kernel. Samsung Galaxy S smartphone, so as you can see that it's not yet boot up. Just set the option of reboot system now, again. Ensure that you are not pressing the power button again because it may take more than normal time for showing up the home screen and all. So as you can see that the code name Android screen has popped out. Wait for a minute so that the files are being installed and are being finalized because since it's the first time the device is being booted up it will take some time
as you can see that still we are unable to see any of the other thing apart from this core name android logo on your samsung lk smartphone so as we say that finally we are getting the country selection option just tap on start so as in it's finalizing all the settings and all just wait for it so based on latest 4.1.2 firmware so as it finalizes all the settings and applications just just wait for a minute getting it so the since I have not inserted the SIM card you can skip all other options Google account Google locations Okay, the current is being shown as Kolkata, which is in part of India. So it's okay. We can add all these settings at late stage as well. Finish. So there you go. This is a code name Android firmware version. CNA, the short form of this one. As you can see that. The model number is i9000, Android version is 4.1.2. These are all phone status. If you check out the applications, all the applications are updated with the latest ones. The Play Store or the email application in the voice search. The people option and the browser can these are all the widgets of native 4.1.2 the only thing missing from out here is uh, FM which I guess there are many other applications which will fulfill the need of FM so this is a dialer application the contacts we already saw let's check out whether the camera works or not so there's a camera so as you can see that camera is working pretty much fine and whole format is pretty much smooth so there's a message option everything is working fine and there are no post close errors as well Studio app, and these are all the settings which are seeing it right now. So that's it. So you have successfully saw on how you can install the latest 4.1.2 firmware in your Galaxy S smartphone. Stay tuned for more updates.